The three fundamental phases of matter are solid, liquid, and gas, but others are considered to exist like plasma. These phases of matter have unique characteristics. Particles in a solid have a small amount of energy and vibration. The particles are held together in a very tight arrangement so they cannot change place. This is why solids are hard. Particles in liquids have more energy than particles in solids. This means that the particles vibrate and can change place. The particles touch each other in a random arrangement. Particles in gases have a large amount of energy. This means that the particles move around very quickly in all directions. They are spaced far apart in a random arrangement. Plasma is a fluid like a liquid or gas but because of the charged particles present in a plasma, it responds to and generates electromagnetic waves. When there is change in pressure and temperature in the phases of matter, phase change occurs. Phase change happens when sufficient energy is supplied to the system or a sufficient amount is lost and also occur when the pressure on the system is changed. The temperatures and pressures under which these changes happen differ depending on the chemical and physical properties of the system. Melting is a change of phase in which a solid becomes a liquid by absorbing heat. The temperature at which a substance changes from a solid to a liquid is the melting point of the substance. For a solid to melt, particles must absorb energy. Ice cube melting into liquid water is a familiar example of the process. Freezing is a change of phase in which a liquid turns into a solid by removing heat. Freezing and melting are the reverse of each other. The temperature at which a liquid changes into solid is the liquid's freezing point. For a liquid to freeze, energy must be removed from the liquid to slow the movement of the particles. Fruit drink poured into a shape mold to make a popsicle in the freezer and the freezing of water to form ice are examples of freezing. Evaporation is a change of phase in which a liquid turns into a gas by absorbing heat. When water is heated, it evaporates. The molecules move and vibrate so quickly that they escape into the atmosphere as molecules of water vapor. The sun is the main source of heat on earth and plays a very important role in evaporation. His studies have shown that the oceans, seas, lakes and rivers provide nearly 90% of the moisture in the atmosphere via evaporation, with the remaining 10% being contributed by plant transpiration. A liquid will evaporate at any temperature above freezing. Boiling occurs when a liquid reaches a certain temperature which we call the boiling point. When you are boiling water in a kettle, there is evaporation. Condensation is a change of phase in which a gas turns into a liquid by removing heat. Condensation and evaporation are the reverse of each other. The condensation point is the temperature at which a gas becomes a liquid. For condensation to occur, energy must be removed from the gas to slow the movement of the particles. Examples of condensation are dew forming on grass in the early morning, glasses in a building fogging up on a cold day, and water drops forming on a glass holding a cold drink on a hot summer day. Sublimation is a change of phase in which a solid turns into a gas by absorbing heat. In sublimation, the particles must go from being very tightly packed to being spread far apart. The best example of sublimation is dry ice which is frozen form of carbon dioxide. When dry ice gets exposed to air, it directly changes from solid to gas which is visible as fog. Deposition is a change of phase in which a gas turns into solid by removing heat. Deposition and sublimation are the reverse of each other. The most typical example of deposition is frost. It is the deposition of water vapor from humid air or air containing water vapor onto a solid surface. It is formed when a surface, for example leaf, is at temperature lower than the freezing point of water and the surrounding air is humid. Recombination is a process by which a plasma turns into a gas by removing heat. For recombination to happen, Positive ions of plasma must capture a free energetic electron and combine with electrons or negative ions to form new neutral atoms in the form of gas. Lightning is an example of plasma. 
After a lightning strike, nitrogen ions eventually draw closer together and lose their charge to become nitrogen gas. Ionization is a change of phase by which gas turns into plasma by absorbing heat. Ionization and recombination are the reverse of each other. Electrons are attracted to the nucleus therefore energy is needed to remove them. The popular example of ionization is aurora which includes the northern light and the southern light. 